It might be half German, half English, but you know, I'm gonna do my best. Yep, I'm not gonna lie, it is half English and half German, but anyway, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Holly Tries, a series on my channel where I challenge myself to try new things and step outside my comfort zone, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video, definitely like it if you do, and we'll dive straight into the video. I'm currently not in Germany. I'm actually in Spain right now and I sound quite bunged up because I'm quite under the weather, so I apologise first of all, but... There had always been one final video of the Germany series that I wanted to post because I said to you at the start of the series that I wanted to challenge myself to vlog a day in German in Germany. For like a Holly Tries episode, you guys should let me know. Should I try vlogging in Germany in German for a day? This video is therefore kind of out of context and out of chronological order, but I did spend a day trying to film in German in Germany. So this is that video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And it is actually sponsored by Babbel, which is literally the best sponsor for this video. They are a language learning service. I've spoken about them before a lot because I love what they do. I love their human-based approach to language learning, basically trying to get you to speak their language as soon as possible and learn just so much more than just like words and like vocabulary. As you guys know, I've always had this dream or this goal this ambition to learn german but just like traveling more in general now i've definitely come to appreciate the importance of being able to speak at least a bit of the language in the country where you are and whilst i didn't speak that much german in germany because i felt kind of scared to do that in public but just being able to hear the language and like hear the accents the different dialects was just so useful with Babbel, the lessons are designed and created by language learning experts which makes them so so incredibly useful and unique in that sense they like have a podcast they have like live lessons that you can take and you're basically learning with a teacher so everything just complements what you have in the app and on the website so yeah it's a whole language learning ecosystem it's more than just an app you can obviously do like the new lessons and stuff but you can always review the ones you've already done and you can do it in loads of different ways so i'm gonna do flashcards for this one do you remember these words in german together zusammen zusammen yeah ich möchte Dich sehen? Ich will dich sehen. Ich will dich sehen. Uh, okay. It's honestly really addictive when you get into it. Obviously, you could just like do a 15 minute lesson. You could listen to a podcast on a walk or a run. You can fit it in however you want to, but it does get quite addictive. I highly recommend you trying out Babbel if you want to learn like German or any other language they offer in the app. There is a link in my description box that gets you 30% off their courses of six months, 12 months, and also lifetime access. So definitely check that out down below. And yeah, shout out to Babbel again. And we will dive straight into my day of vlogging in German in Germany. Ich bin sehr müde, wow. ziemlich müde, sehr müde. Hallo meine Freunde, guten Morgen. Es ist Freitag. Mhm. Warum? Es ist sehr laut. Du kannst nicht mehr hören. Ist das korrekt? Ich weiß nicht. Im Moment reise ich auf Deutschland. Meinem Deutsch ist nicht so gut, aber ich versuche alles Deutsch zu sprechen. Ja. Heute fahre ich mit dem Zug nach Berlin und ich bin sehr aufgeregt, sehr sehr aufgeregt, aber Jetzt mache ich Joggen mhm. diese Morgen. Also, wir beginnen dieses Video. <lacht> It might be half German, half English, but you know, I'm gonna do my best. Joggen, ja. Yeah. Joggen, 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 joggen. So I actually tried to run and speak German, which was so difficult, but spoiler alert, I actually lost that footage, so I'm very sorry about that, but we'll look at what I'm eating beforehand anyway. Trinke Wasser, viele Wasser. Mm -hmm. Immer noch so laut. Ich muss um 11 Uhr check out. Ich habe wieder zu machen. Ich esse halb. Banana, halb eine Banane, mm -hmm. oh, Moschee und dann werde ich 
Haferflocken, Haferflocken für mein Frühstück essen. Mm. Ja. Nicht so lecker. Es ist 9 Uhr. Ja, es ist 9 Uhr. Und ich gehe in die Dusche, um mich zu waschen. Aber das war sehr, sehr gut. Ich muss meine Haare waschen. Wir haben nicht so viel Zeit. Ich habe nur eineinhalb Stunden. Und dann muss ich lief. Mhm, da hast du. Es ist 10 Uhr und hier ist mein Frühstück. Ich habe Haferflocken mit Bananen und Kiwi. Gelb Kiwi, gelb Kiwi. Gold Kiwi ist das Beste. Bestest? Beste. Ich liebe Golden Kiwi. Gestern bin ich nach Leipzig gefahren. Es war sehr Spaß und heute fahre ich auch mit dem Zug oder Bahn nach Berlin. Ja, ja, ja. So if you did follow along the Germany travel series, then you'll know where this video sits. But essentially I was in Dresden, as I said, and this was the day when I was traveling from the city and going to Berlin, which is the capital city of the country. I was so excited to go to Berlin, as I said, and this was supposed to be my final destination in Germany, but then I spontaneously went to Hamburg as well with some new friends. Ich bin bereit. Auf Wiedersehen, großes Doppelsinger. Thank you. Tschüss. Bye. Bye. I have to say this in English, you guys. I just saw someone who went to my old school, like my secondary school, which is honestly crazy. Uh, in die Schule, we were zusammen together. Well, not in the same year. She was two years below me, but whoa, it's a small world. Um, anyway, yeah. Mein, meinem, meine Zug ist um uh, Viertel nach elf Uhr. Ich hoffe, dass ich nicht spät bin. Also muss ich schnell walk to walk. Oh, I don't know. I need to walk kind of quickly, basically. Ich gehe uh, zu Dresden Neustadt Station. Bahnhof Dresden Neustadt. Aha. Ich habe 15 Minuten. Ich denke, dass das so dreieinhalb Stunden ist ziemlich lange. Ziemlich lang, aber es ist okay. Es ist gleich fünf nach Leipzig. Leipzig? Fünf. Ich gehe nach Koswick und dann nach Elsterwerde und dann bei den Hauptbahnhof. Dreieinhalb Stunden. Yeah. So I was traveling around the country using my nine euro rail ticket, which was so, so good because it meant I could see like the whole of the country pretty much with just one single ticket that cost me nine euros only. Ich bin in Elsterwerde. Elsterwerde? Es ist sehr heiß. Sehr, sehr heiß. Und diese Zug wird nach Berlin kochen. Es ist ziemlich now the main downside to this ticket was I could only get regional trains so they were a lot longer because they took quite extensive routes and they were also quite busy at times like there were loads of people on these trains but it was without a doubt the best travel ticket I've ever bought in my whole entire life. Stressig, is that a word? Or did I just make that up for stressful? Um, ich bin in Berlin! Ich bin in Alexanderplatz im Moment. Ich hätte kein keine Internet. Ich war sehr konfus, weil ich nicht die U-Bahn finden könnte. Ja, aber ich bin U5 gefahren. Alexanderplatz hier ist, wo ich in Berlin bleibe. Aber 
Yeah, I'm just not in my hostel, you guys. I'm very confused. I didn't have internet when I got off that train and I had no clue where I was going. So I need to get back on this underground thing to take you to. Ich muss u zwei Bison? I don't know. I need to get to the hostel. Let's get back on the underground. Yeah, I did get lost quite a few times. And I mean, if you want to follow my route and see what I did in Germany, then definitely check out the full travel series. I'll leave it linked down below. Zehn Jahren später. Und ich habe angekommen. Ich bin angekommen? Ich weiß nicht. Ich bin in die Herberge. Uh, die Jugendherberge. Es gibt sechs Betten. Ich bleibe in Meininger, Berlin, in Alexanderplatz. Um, ja, es ist sehr dunkel. This is the situation. Um, aber es ist nett, ja, sauber. Im Moment, es ist ruhig. Ich bin in das die Zimmer allein. Ich bin sehr, sehr heiß. <lacht> Es ist nicht gut, aber uh, hier ist mein Bett. Hier ist das Bad. Grün und sehr schön. Die Toilette, Dusche, Sink. Ich bleibe für drei Tage. Samstag, Sonntag, Montag, Dienstag. Vier Tage. Vier Tage. Okay, es war nicht so teuer. 181 Euro und 50 Cent. Ja, für vier Nachten. Ich habe meine Sachen organisiert und jetzt bin ich hungrig. Ich muss... Mittagsessen essen. Ich möchte ein veganes Kaffee finden, weil Berlin sehr veganes friendlich ist. Uh, ich habe eine Liste. Uh, plant base, geh veg, uh, brahmi balls, donuts, brownie, they're so good. Uh, Seid für Brot, Werner, Secret Garden, Hans. Hans im Gluck, Maria, Lilliburger, Frosters, Easy Peasy, Zuvila. I want to find one that's kind of close to me. <laughs> Geh, Veg. Ach nein. Ein Stunde, fünf Minuten. Nein. How do you say sorry in German, by the way? Is it Schuldigen and Schuldigen? Because I know that's, excuse me, but I don't know if it's sorry as well, and I've never known how to say sorry in German and I'm someone who says sorry too much um, but I definitely need to know how to say it, right? Ich bin auch immer noch sehr sehr heiß Oh, so sweaty Just some extra details about the room that I couldn't um, say in German on the spot um, There is free Wi-Fi, it seems to be good which is amazing and um, basically as you can see the locker things under the bed you have to just use your own padlock and you can also apparently hire or rent a towel for like one euro a day which i'm probably going to do because it's so much easier than using the microfiber ones i would have preferred a top bunk as we know but today or for this day we are bottoming the bunk ich habe eine neues id id um ich gehe Leah's kitchen. Ich gehe so nach Leah's kitchen. Looks so good. Oh, here. I'm literally just walking into it. Leah's kitchen. Vegan. 100% vegan. So the plan was to obviously go up and order in German for this video, but my plan didn't really go to plan because the waiter or the person serving me realized that I was English and I didn't speak German so well. So I did order my food in English. I got this protein quinoa salad bowl. I can't really remember what it was, but I do know it was very, very good. And it was gone in literally like five minutes. Oh my God, you guys. Das schmeckt sehr gut. Zehn out of zehn. Exactly what I wanted. Um, well, I didn't really know what I wanted, but I fancy that when I saw it. Jetzt muss ich nach Adidas gehen. I need to basically pick up my race stuff for tomorrow. Like my number and everything. Um, I can get it tomorrow, but it's better to do it today. So Freitag 
Ähm, das Rennen ist morgen um halb neun Uhr. In das die der Abend. Okay, again for some context. I was meeting back up with Charlie and Daniel in Berlin, who were the two new friends I'd met on my travels. And the next day I was running my 10K race in Berlin. I will leave that video down below because I honestly love that one, but definitely check out the full travel series. And this is where I rounded off my day of trying to speak German. I know it wasn't that long and it wasn't all in German and it wasn't perfect, but I tried my best. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little mini challenge video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And as always, I will speak to you very soon in another video. Bye guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hola. Hola. You see like Spanish is everywhere. This is German. Happy game. <laughs> Hmm. Ich bin nicht Mutter. Ich bin ja Mutter. Ah, also. Vokabulär. Äh. Uh, Kiwi, 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 Kiwi. Dikt ist sehr gut. Da habe ich wieder eine. Ich habe schon gesehen. Okay, ähm, um, what the? I'm on a cycle lane. Das Zimmer, die Zimmer, der Zimmer. Ich weiß nicht. My stomach is rumbling so much. I am translating so many words today. Uh, sechs Betten. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Hmm, what is sechs?